Cricketing. Welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Uh, so the day after the Tim Knight sale at uh, the Long Room at the Oval yesterday, uh, it was a fascinating afternoon, I have to say, a fantastic collection of uh, items that uh, Ian Botham had collected up over his years. I was uh, very fortunate to get one item all around all that one, so uh, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, so it was a fascinating afternoon, with, uh, there's the auction there, with um, the prize Price, believe it or not, was a football shirt of Sammy McElroy for the Charity Shield match at uh, against Liverpool. It went for twenty three thousand quid. That's just like amazing. Um, and what well, well, we've got here, silver medal presented to both and obviously it's a man of the series. Headingly eighty one nineteen thousand pound. Oh, incredible stuff. Um, Duncan Fernley cricket stump from the same game, eleven thousand. It went on and on. So prices were. Way above what I think really were expected, but um, I suppose being both and being even both, and that was uh, uh, there were some great bits there. So big name, Mr. Both or Lord Both of should I say? It went very well. So anyway, I'll get back to what I got to uh, both of yesterday. Um, but this week, turning up was this lovely photograph here of Bill Ponsford, William Harold Ponsford, lovely um, press photograph there by Claude Harris. And just before the uh, exhibition uh, ground test at Brisbane in 1928. So I uh, got a date on my back there of the 28th November. So it uh, just got me looking at um, Bill Ponce's record. And it's amazing, really. I mean, he got 13,000 runs, uh, or nearly 30, uh, 14,000 runs, sorry, at 65.18. Test career, 48.22 is average. 13 ins of over 200, two over. 400, the only person to do that, his highest of 437. Uh, 1934 over here, he's toured over here three times. 1926, he was laid low with tonsillitis, unfortunately for him. Uh, 1934, he got 1,784 runs at 77.56, including the double hundred at the Oval, uh, with that innings of Bradman. He got the 1,000 runs twice in an Australian season, which is quite rare really, because I don't play too many games over there. So I'm very pleased to have that photograph there, original photograph of Bill Ponsford. So well done, thanks very much. Uh, another one here was a night, this is a copy photograph, but lovely one of Sid Barnes and his family, a great English bowler uh, with his family on board the SS Saxon, just prior to leaving for South Africa in 1913. Lovely photograph there, very clear. I mean, these reprinted photographs are absolutely fantastic. So i um, really pleased to have that. Looks like they're uh, reasonably pleased to be going to South Africa. <laughs> so good old uh, uh, Sid with his uh, stern face. Anyway, last weekend, as you, I might have told you, I went down to uh, Sheffield Park um, to watch the Victor Trumper 11 against the Armadillos and the Victor Trump 11 won. Good afternoon, nice and sunny, so it was great. So went down there and swapped a couple of caps with um, Craig Hawkins and there's the Victor Trumper cap there. Victor Trump 11, UK Tour 2023. This was the Bradman 11, but um, they had to change it because they de defunct the Bradman 11. So um, it's now the Victor Trumper 11. And, and they're very, very smart as well in their blue blazers too. And the other, Cap I've got swapped for it was this lovely baggy green there of a uh, Bradman member on there. So I'm really pleased. Thanks, Craig, for these two caps. So I swapped a couple for them with him. So I um, hope he's pleased with the ones I got him. So that was a um, nice afternoon down there at Sheffield Park. Uh, the other thing that turned up this week was from Andy in Australia, which is this lovely steward's bag badge from um, Notts County Cricket Ground. So Nottinghamshire there, about 1934, 1938, something like that. Got a, a safety pin there at the back to hold it on your lapel. So a nice addition there. Thanks up for Andy for that one. So, okay, let's get on to the night sale now um, that I got there. I only got the one item, and there's the authenticity for it there. And uh, I'm pleased with that. Nice little item, that, with Lord Botham. And then... Well, first of all, 1983, uh, I think I showed it the other week, but there's the program there for the uh, trotting race when he uh, challenged Dennis Lilly. 
and uh, I can remember it well. I remember the uh, the evening well. It was um, everybody thinking oh, they just go around a little mediocre pace, but they really did go hell for leather, I have to say. And Ian both and won, which is fantastic. So um, it, the um, this lovely rose bowl was presented by I'm well, not a rose bowl, it's a it's a punch bowl actually. It was presented by David Hooks. So pleased to get that. So that's brought back some memories for me. Forty years on. Goodness me, 40 years ago. So there we are, I've got the Australian colours there and the MCC colours there. So and thanks for Mrs Knight for giving it a bit of a clean the day before yesterday. So uh, uh, I'll give it another go later on, but um, really pleased with that. So that's my contribution from the Lord Botham collection. So that's about it from this week. Um, I'm sure you can get results of Tim Knight's uh, auction coming up on his uh, website. Knight's auction website, Sporting Auctions, and uh, you can all catch up on what uh, the amazing results of the auction were yesterday. So anyway, uh, thanks for that, and I'll see you on the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Cheers.